In this video, we're gonna download and install IntelliJ IDEA, which is the editor or IDE, integrated development environment, we're gonna be using to create programs in this course. So what we need to do is start out by going to jetbrains.com. Jetbrains is the creator of the IntelliJ IDEA product. So I'll go to their website. I'm gonna come down to the tools menu, hover over that, move on down to IntelliJ IDEA. I'm gonna click over here to yes, I agree, just to remove that uh, little pop-up. I'm gonna select download. Now when we do that, there's two options here. We've got the ultimate edition, noting that it's also available for Mac OS and Linux as well. So we've got the ultimate edition and the community edition. So we can use the community edition in this course and that's completely free and open source. There's no cost oh, and there's never gonna be a cost to use it. It's completely free. The ultimate edition out of interest is available if you're looking at some extra tools. That's more for professional developers, things like Java Enterprise Edition and Spring and so on and so forth. But we're gonna be using the community edition. So I'm gonna click on over here to download it. Then I'm gonna select run noting that you may have to save this to a folder somewhere and double click it once it's downloaded if your browser doesn't uh, allow you to do what I've just done. So I'll give that a moment to complete now. We'll just fast forward this a bit. All right, you can see we're just about done now. Okay, when this pop-up comes up, I'm gonna click on yes, that we're gonna allow this app to make changes. I'm gonna close down the browser at this point because uh, we finished with that. We're gonna go through the installation setup. So I'm gonna click on next. I'm going to click on next again. All right, so in this little pop-up, you need to specify whether you're a 32-bit or a 64-bit user. Now, nine times out of 10, you will select a 64-bit, but if you know that your, your operating system is 32-bit, then that would be the box you'll check. You can optionally update the context menu to add an option to open folder as project. I don't actually use that, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. And I'm going to create these associations, the .java, the .groovy and .kt, which is for Kotlin, because that's so uh, useful if you want to edit those particular files in this uh, IntelliJ IDEA product as well. So generally I would suggest you just uh, click those options anyway, even if you don't think you're gonna use them at the moment. Click on Next, Install. And this is now installing IntelliJ IDEA. Once this is completed, there's a few little minor installation uh, configurations we need to set before we end the video. All right, just about finished as we can see now. All right, the next thing I suggest you do is check the uh, Run IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition because there's a few things we need to set up. Click on Finish. Eventually this little pop-up will come up. We've got the option to select a config or installation folder or do not import settings. Do not import settings. If this is the first time you've used IntelliJ IDEA, set that. The config or installation folder is there if you want to import settings from a previous installation. In our case, we're not going to do that, so I'm going to click on OK after selecting or making sure that do not import settings is selected. We're going to accept JetBrains privacy policy by clicking the checkbox and clicking on continue. You've got the options to send JetBrains usage anonymous statistics. I'm going to click on don't send, but uh, you're free to select those and choose to send those st statistics if you wish. Next, we're prompted as to whether we want a dark background, which is generally easier on the eyes when you're programming, or a light background. Now, I'm going to choose light because that tends to come out better in the videos, but uh, if you want to choose the darker theme, the darker one, then do that. Noting that you can always go back into settings later and change this. So I'm going to click on next. I'm going to leave this screen alone, noting that the screen will be different if you've chosen the ultimate edition of IntelliJ. We don't need to make any changes there. We can just leave every, everything as it is. Click on Next. Same deal there. I'm not going to change anything. You can always come back and install these things later if that's something that you uh, want to do. We won't be using any of those in the course. And click on Start using IntelliJ IDEA. All right, so at this point, we're now done. We've now successfully installed IntelliJ IDEA. So now that we've done that, we do have a few minor configurations that we need to finish off. Specifically, what we need to do is configure it for the software development kit so that we can start creating programs in this course. But we're gonna do that in a separate video. I'll end the video now, and we'll see you in the next video where we start making a few other changes to configure IntelliJ IDEA. So I'll see you in that next video.